if you clicked on this video, chances are you're looking at, or at least interested in the Sony 24-50 f2.8. The latest lens from Sony should be the pinnacle of the lineup, but I'm not buying it and price isn't the only reason. While on paper, or at least on a computer screen, this lens looks amazing. I honestly just don't think I need it in my kit. For my crop sensor cameras, I already own the Tamron 17-70. to The 24-50 may be smaller than this lens, but I get more range with this lens and it's cheaper. For my full frame shooters, you're saying, that lens is made for an APS-C camera. You can't use it on a full frame, but you could. I could slap this on a full frame camera and either deal with the vignetting that comes with doing that or crop in. Yes, I may be losing resolution, but if we're shooting for the internet, it doesn't really matter. Truthfully, I think that lens would make a ton of sense if I only shot full frame, but I don't. For the full frame setup, I basically decided to invest in the prime equivalent of the 24 to 50 transition, owning a 24 millimeter, a 35 millimeter, and a 50 millimeter lens. I primarily become accustomed to these lenses because of their size. I mean, just look at how small these are. And while this new lens is small, it's not smaller than these. And if we're talking price, you can get all three of those lenses at decent f-stops for almost less than half of what that lens costs brand new. If you're upgrading directly from the kit lens and you shoot full frame, this lens might be the perfect choice for you, especially if you don't think you need the reach of a 70 with a 24 to 70. If you're new to this world, I highly recommend watching some reviews and looking at some final footage so that you know whether or not you think you need that extra 20 millimeters. But if you're someone like me who's been around this for a while and you already have lenses that are in this focal range, really take a look at what you shoot and how you shoot so that you know whether or not you're really fulfilling a need or you're just succumbing to gas. That's gear acquisition syndrome. As for me, I'm not gonna be picking this lens up. I'm pretty satisfied with my primes. If you're interested in picking up some of the camera equipment I mentioned today or just camera equipment in general, I would greatly appreciate it if you use one of the links down below. Uh, I have all of my gear listed in those links and if you use them to make any kind of purchase, I will receive a small commission at no extra charge to you. So while I might be setting this one out, I wanna hear from you. Are you interested in the new 24 to 50? Does it entice you? Will you pick one up? I'd love to know all of your thoughts and more down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you really like these videos, I would appreciate a subscribe as well. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.